Hey, what's up, YouTube? Check it out. I got some tools here. I got some tools from Bonhus. That's right, Bonhus. I believe it's a German name, and it's an American company made in the USA. Uh, these are going to be your hex keys. It's a 22-piece set, BLX22 or a 2199. And this set goes from 0 .050 all the way up to 3 8 and this set goes up from 1.5 millimeter up to 10 millimeter. And they're made in the USA. They, from the world's strongest steel, world's best corrosion protection. And how these work is you want to go with the ball end. You want to go in from an angle and not straight on top. Otherwise, you might as well just use the, the normal style because... You're kind of, you're more likely to round out the fastener if you just go straight down with the ball end. You really want to be going at it from an angle with the ball end. So, yeah. And this next little set here, this I got for mainly the snap on ratchets and a lot of small tools. They require that little T6 right there. And doesn't come in most sets, but it does come in the Capri set. But I wanted a little set like this that wasn't a socket. So I went with Bond Hus, if you recognize them. This is probably the OEM for Snap-ons hex keys. So I just gave that a little thought, you know? And also, this is a big shout out to Midwest Tool Review. He's a real homie. I don't think I've shown these yet. But these are my main USA Harley Davidson. These are a snap on Williams variant wrench. And these are actually pretty hard to find. These are a new old stock. Never been used. Midwest War Reviews. He's your guy if you want some old snap on tools or some new old stock, or some used tools. He's got a lot of them. And this is a metric set that goes from, that's a 10 millimeter up to 18 millimeter. And then I also got my very first, very first SAE set. I'll actually take this one out of the cardboard. And this one goes 5 sixteenths up to 3 quarters. These are a really snazzy wrench. That HDX part number reminds me of a Home Depot part number, you know? So definitely a big shout out to James. He is climbing up there in subscribers. He's got some excellent content. Excellent content. So anybody who hasn't seen Midwest Tool Reviews, go check him out. I'm going to leave a link in a card possibly or down in the description as well. And another thing in this video, you guys, this is a big old surprise. I started my channel by putting out Japanese tools. Not really all Japanese tools, but I was really focused on Japanese tools because everybody was into Snap-on, Matco, and this and that. And I was like, hey, these Japanese tools, they're really nice. Why aren't people getting into these Japanese tools? They're not as expensive as the Snap-on and the Matco, and they're great quality, if not better quality. So why aren't people getting interested? So I started buying Japanese tools, trying to get people interested, and no bites. No bites. And then here we are now, and there's Japanese tools all over YouTube. Pretty interesting, huh? And now, for the grand finale, bada bing, bada boom, check it out, check it out. These are some SK11 wrenches. I ordered these off of... Amazon Japan and on, on a Wednesday and they came on a Friday the very next Friday two days literally two days from Japan 
to my door in the United States, who I was impressed. I paid about $103 for these wrenches. That includes the shipping and everything. Uh, after I put them in the cart and everything and went to pay for them and check, in, check out and all that, actually, the price goes down. So, yeah, interestingly enough, the price does go down sometimes when you're in those foreign websites. So, yeah, I think they include, like, local taxes or something like that. So, you're not inclined to pay those local taxes. So, yeah. So, I'm going to show you guys these wrenches. I'm going to start with the 17 millimeter. These are made in Taiwan. All right. But they are a Japanese-style wrench. Uh talking with Chris Cass about these. He's the tool of fishing auto. He has been to all over Japan several times throughout his life. And he's got several great videos on YouTube of his travels in Japan to the tool stores in Japan. And he is a great fella. Oh, Gear Tech. Interesting. SK11 Gear Tech. I didn't even see that. And the part number on this bad boy is MFR17WL. So that's that one. And how this wrench works is All right, it's pushing the wrong way. It's a locking flex head. So, pretty sweet, huh? And then also, it's got this offset. It's not exactly like the gear wrenches. You know? That's why I like them. And they're a lot shorter as well. This is the 19 millimeter, and here it is right here. Let's zoom it out. Isn't that nuts? I love these wrenches. I'm so glad I found these wrenches. I have been having my eye on these wrenches for over a year. Maybe a year and a half. I've shown them to several, several people. I'm surprised that nobody purchased them. But I did, finally. I'm super stoked to have them. And I'm going to take this out of the package real quick. I'll take the sticker off so all the part numbers are going to have that same number and then you just put the size of the wrench for right there there's an instagram guy his name is ninja tools and he could hook he could find these for you he could find you any japanese tool you just message him and he will get you those tools so yeah hit him up hit him up hit him up that's if you don't want to go through Amazon Japan. And if you want help going through Amazon Japan, uh, I don't mind helping people. Just send me an email. Send me a uh, message, on, message on Instagram. And I'll try to get back to you in a timely fashion. And I'll put the my email in the description as well. And actually, that's in my about that's actually in my about, and you guys can click the button that you're not a robot, and you guys will be able to see it through there. So, yeah. I want to show you guys a couple other things. Here's the right wrench right here. I really wanted these because the 14 millimeter, all right? Working on vehicles with a 14 millimeter fastener sometimes, and the wrench is too long. So the fact that these are kind of stubby is awesome. It's almost an inch, an inch shorter from the right. And the offset almost reminds me of a precision torque. You know? I don't have those wrenches to compare them to, but that's what I would might would have to say 
they are close to. You know? What do you guys think? Do you guys if you guys who own the precision torque wrenches, let me know. Is that the same profile right there? Let me know. And also, you guys, I'm gonna have another tool haul for you coming up. I literally have about 10 pairs of Nipex. Got two more coming. So that's two out of ten. So yeah. I going to have an awesome video for you guys coming up. So hit that subscribe button. Deuces. Thumbs up for sure.